Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me today. By the title, you know we're going to be talking about these matte lip paints from L'Oreal. I'm super excited to be sharing these with you guys today. I'm going to be doing like swatches on my lips. Um, some of it I will film completely and some of it will just be like I'll show you it's on my lips. Um, if you're interested in seeing more of these and seeing them on my lips and how they look, keep on watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you have not subscribed. I'm judging you if you haven't subscribed by the way, so get to clicking. Until next time guys, bye! So I'm going to be sharing with you guys these matte lip paints from L'Oreal and the first shade I have on today is called Hollywood Beige and it's a liquid lipstick and like it's kind of like a moussey kind of formula in my opinion. So this is what it looks like when you open it. And then that's your applicator and that's obviously your tube so just to swatch it here for you that's what it looks like and this is the shade Hollywood beige this is the same shade that I have on my lips I really like it like and I think this is such a pretty color as well so it's just up my alley so this is not kiss proof you can see so it will come off and it will rub off on clothes and stuff like that. That's absolutely fine. I feel like you don't always need something that's going to like dry down completely. Um, this still does the job in terms of giving you a matte lip look, um, which I really love. Again, this is Hollywood Beige. So the next shade I'm wearing is King Pink and it's shade 202. I'm going to swatch this on my hand again in comparison to this shade, Hollywood Beige. I mean, these are so beautiful. It's such a, like, I feel like it's a very, like, light formula in terms of, like, you know when something's, like, fluffy, like, if you have, like, a batter that's really fluffy and you bake the cake and it comes out just, like, light and airy, that's what I'm comparing this to. I don't bake, but, except baking my own eyes, but you get what I'm saying, right? I've heard that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, I think it's really light and beautiful. It's so nice. It actually feels so amazing on the lips. I feel like you do kind of have to go in a couple times with the brush and kind of like then apply and go in again and then apply. It's not like you're going to get this like um, opaque look with just one swipe. I don't feel like that's the way it is. But it's still, it's very moisturizing on the lips. It's like, it feels so good. Like, I promise you. This might be my new thing to wear, like on the daily, because I don't always wear like a liquid lip on the daily. Um, I like to kind of like go with glosses or other sort of like lighter products, if I could say. Um, but this is really just so beautiful. I mean, how, how nice is this color, guys? Like seriously, girlfriend is looking so cute, right? So the next shade I have is this beautiful red shade, and it's called Red Actually. I mean. This is such a beautiful red shade. I'm so obsessed with it. It's just so beautiful. Um, I did have to go in quite a bit with this one. It was very patchy on my lips. It wasn't giving me like a um, an even application or even coverage. So I went in quite a few times, easily like six times with the brush. Um, but in the end, I think it looks so beautiful. This is it swatched here. Oh, I mean, this is like literally like, look at that. That is like the perfect red. And if you can see it on my lips, I mean, so beautiful it's so stunning and it's just really amazing i'm so impressed with these because they feel really nice on my lips like i really like it so as much as i really like these i kind of feel like when i'm looking at it it's still not looking like completely matte like it does have a matte look to it and at this point i've kind of I've, I've wiped off all the maybelline baby lips that i did have at the beginning of the video and i don't have anything on my lips because I keep wiping it off completely but I feel like this is not um, giving me a complete matte look you know what I'm saying for something that's claiming to be like a matte lippy so the next shade I'm gonna swatch on camera just so you guys can kind of see what I'm saying my lips are absolutely matte I just went over it with the sponge which has some foundation left over Look at that, like absolutely no product on my lips. And I'm just going to swatch this. So this is Apocalypse Red and it's a beautiful darker shade of red. It's like a plum. Let's swatch it here. That was so crooked. Like seriously, what is wrong with me? Like you can see there, that looks a bit glossy, right? Uh, here you go. There's one like swipe inside. See, it gives like a very sheer coverage. I can still see my lips through it. 
I mean, that's not a bad thing. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that if you want like a more opaque look, you're gonna have to go in a couple times. Okay, so this is Apocalypse Red, and you can see what I'm saying when I say it gives off a very like gloss kind of vibe as opposed to a very like matte look. It definitely, I mean, listen, this is a matte, like in my opinion, it's like a matte lip gloss kind of vibe, but it's not completely matte, you know what I'm saying? So Apocalypse Red is more of a vampy shade of red as opposed to a very bright red um but i mean again these are just such beautiful shades you can kind of see what i'm saying when i say they look glossy look at that look at that swatch you see what i'm saying right um but yeah simply beautiful really nice to apply as you saw i did have to go in a couple times in order to get like an opaque look on my lips but that's fine with me they're not sticky if you're wondering about stickiness not sticky at all so the last l'oreal lip paint shade we're going to be talking about today and obviously in the matte formula is wuthering purple and it's the shade that i'm using on my lips right now purple's not my color um i don't usually wear purple shades although it kind of does remind me of i think is it mac heroin i have that shade um i'm gonna swatch it here for you let's see it's a very bad swatch so that's the purple shade there and this is Wuthering Purple. Um, I did have to apply this quite a few times to my lips. I kept dipping it in and going back and dipping it in and going back. But yeah, it's okay. It's not my kind of shade. So now that I've swatched all five of these um, matte lip paint shades, what's my verdict on them? I definitely think it's a beautiful formula. I really like it. So it feels really nice on the lips. I like the way it feels. Um, this is doesn't completely like go matte in my opinion it still kind of has a bit of a glossy look to it so it's not really matte in my opinion i guess it is more matte than a gloss i felt like the one that looked the most matte was this nude one which is hollywood beige to me this looked the most matte as opposed to these others that still kind of had a bit of a sheen to them um yeah but this is really nice it's really stunning to wear it's comfortable and the colors are really beautiful um i really like this red shade this red actually this is stunning it was so beautiful so i'd say that out of all of these shades these two are my favorite this is red actually and hollywood beige if you're interested in trying it out yourself in store you can head out to your like nearest i think clicks um probably just came in other places like that that sell l'oreal products this does retail for 179.95 which i think is affordable for a matte lipstick um again i feel like it's not as matte as matte can be but I still like it. I can definitely see myself wearing these two. 